Hello, welcome back to Monster Train. I am, as always, your host. Oh my god, it's 4.30 a.m. How did I get here? What happened? Can you guess what time it is? It's not, I'm not, it's not a tired 4.30, I gotta tell you. I'm just gonna be up until like 5.30 after this episode, but that's okay, because I'm not sleepy. I feel, I feel good. I feel charged. We did, did the community event, had a good time. It was very fun. I... Play some video games with my friends, which is something that I don't get to do a ton of because of the... I, I only get like one or two days out of the week because, you know, I'm on like an opposite schedule to people who work a normal job. We get like maybe a game or two of something in, in the afternoons, depending on when they get home from work. However, uh, that's neither here nor there. Ho how are you doing? Hope you're doing well. Happy Sunday, it should be. Today we are Queen. Yesterday's episode, it was a little, it was a little rough. So I'm hopeful that today the queen will be kind. I think that of the champions now, you may remember back in like the, towards the end of the last, uh, the last set, I had a champion list that of, of champions that I did, dreaded to play and it was Little Fade. I no longer dread to play Little Fade. I mean, I do dread to play Little Fade. It was like, oh man, how am I going to find something to fill the air with? I do kind of dread the queen. I think that she is a little more variant and she's really the only character right now. I think the game is in a really good place because my... My Dreadometer, I only have one champion that I feel like is kind of scary. I think she's good too, I'm just bad. The Dread isn't because she's bad, it's because I'm bad. But today we'll learn. I wanted to, wanted to shout out you guys for giving me some really good words in the yesterday's comment section, by the way. Like, I, I, It's weird because I can just go through and reply to every comment with the same thing, which is, y'all, this is a great word. Like, really, really good word. I don't want to call out any specifics because I don't want to play favorites. I feel like is, is, this is how my brain works in this sort of situation. However, I I do appreciate the uh, the words you guys gave me some good ones, and we got a, got a little explanation of what sorewa means. It's like you know to pick up where we were last yesterday before I had to cut it because the intro. It's like I understand vaguely what it means. It's something like sorewa korewa. They're like in reference to something, and you use a different version based on. How far away it is it's similar to that is but then you use them to dif differentiate like is nearby or is across the room or another one would be like is across the sea sort of situation right you like you would use different versions i don't know how it works exactly really interesting sentence structure stuff uh, but you know i really like language as a whole i think it's very fun to learn i i should spend some more time learning i think uh, I do not have a question prep for you today. Give me, I'm going to pause and I'm going to give it two minutes. It's very late. I just started the recording. Sometimes I sit down and I think a little bit, but today is 4.30 a.m. if you didn't uh, hear. So I'm going to give it like a, I'm going to give it a quick second to try and think of one. And if not, we'll just go on. Okay. I'll be right back. I actually, I, I got one. I, was, I, should, I like to, you know, it was my bad. I, I should leave like a half second space in there. But I was like, yo, I got thought of a question. Something that I thought of today. I was like, ooh, this would be good to talk about. Uh, I, it's, it's more of an observation, and I want to hear your opinions on this. How do you feel about the fact that, for the most part, in social media, like, the ability to dislike something is gone in terms of comments? I was thinking about this today. If you don't know, I, I watch a, and I'll, I'll speed this along, don't worry. You can give me an extra 30 seconds here to ask the question. In social media, I... I, or I watch I watch videos on TikTok, and I go and I look at the comments section, and you can't dislike comments, and... I've noticed that this is something that's just generally been phased out everywhere on the internet. You can't really dislike things anymore. Like, you can dislike this video if you want, but it effectively has no bearing on the video. If you are the one person out there disliking every video, you are doing the same thing as if you were liking the video at this point. So how does, like, what do you think of that? Because I remember back in early YouTube, you could dislike anything or, like, any comment and it mattered. It felt like comments would get hidden and stuff. And that's what I was thinking about today. I, I think it's weird, but I don't necessarily think it's bad. It's four minutes, I'm sorry, longer intro, but I had a lot to say, and I don't really know what I said. However, let's go, shall we? Today, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Today we're Exile, Hellhorn, Default Umbra, Explosive Sigil, Daedalus, Ragefell, Ragefell? Ragefell, Chase Seraph, Ritual Battle, and Tumbra Assault, Branding Right. I've, I've played so much that I look at this fell, I, I, I look at it and I go, this is Ragefell, and then I go, is it Ragefell? I don't know. Am I looking at Rage Fell? I don't know. It is. Trust. So, one of the lines that was brought up to me by Dusk in the Discord for Queen is to pick a tank, whichever one you get, put it in front of her, 
Give it multi-strike and scale its rage. This is for Rally Queen. You get your survivability option through imps usually. They chump block, they help out, and then you use rage to kill the two heavies. It's an interesting line. We start with Ritual of Battle. I'm definitely interested in picking a unit to frontline and multi-strike. However, it's like... The, the cards are good. In Ritual of Battle, Antumbra Assault, Branding Right. These are great cards. And Antumbra Assault particularly gives us a ping, which is very helpful. Very, very helpful in... Uh, Wormkin, or Wormkin? Exile Hellhorn here. But we'll kind of see. Winged Indulgence, much better than a non-relic here. God. Teeth of gold. Aww. Right, so I believe that Queen is in a position where if you're shown Imperialist, you pick Imperialist, and if you aren't shown Imperialist, you pick Royalty. I feel like she's not very flexible. You can maybe play Imp Parade Cranberry Knight in co-op yesterday. Actually, we played Royalty. And we tried the same run. This is I have talked about this, but if you don't watch co-op, I will reprise my discussion on it. We're going to play Royalty. I don't think Imp Parade is very good. And I think that Queen is a no pack shards champion. And tonight, I'm not going to randomly pick pack shards and uh, die, I feel. Gary Combat, Apprentice of Light. I, assuming that I draw one imp turn one, I should be okay with the trial. It actually, like, it helps me a little bit to take the trial, so I will take it. I think the trial makes this combat easier because I can play one imp and have it die and have space to play more stuff. Plus, with the minus ones, it's not that big of a deal. And it is, in fact, the way of it. Drop the imp. I actually, I feel, so this is going to be two, four, six, eight next turn. I feel pretty good about playing Train Steward here and letting it die. And we can, like... We can play him. Two, four, he'll die exactly. And there's no reason not to play him, basically. Well, actually, I could draw back through, so maybe this is a mistake. Right, and then same situation, but now I have... Because I played the Train Steward and let him die instead of having the Imp die, I can potentially play two Queen's Implings here. Uh, which I think is okay. And we, we at least play one. And then if I play one more, I can get the Collector. I will leave a Queen Zimpling on the floor, which is a bit of a problem. It is a problem, but I have a lot of answers to this problem. So the problem is that this Apprentice of Light... Let me I'll walk you through this thought process here. The problem here is Apprentice of Light walks up, he kills the MP, gets damage shield, he blocks the hit. What can we do about that? Well, the easy answer is we can Antumbra Assault the Imp, right? Barring that option, we can also play Shade Splitter. And Shade Splitter play a Morsel in front. The Morsel gets the damage shield. The Queen's Impling pings it off. Right? You just, there's, there's like seven options. I think it's impossible for us to not have an option that answers this. Right. Even just Queen's Impling here is fine. Uh, I'd rather play, I'd rather play Antumbra. But I do play the Queen's Impling anyway. I, no, I shouldn't have Antumbra. I, I will probably draw it next turn, but now I might not, and I might take four. Like, we can put Queen's Impling down. Uh, it doesn't, like, it looks like it matters, but it doesn't matter. We just throw Antumbra Morsel in front. Oh, but then the Queen's Impling takes it. Oh, and then it doesn't give a damage shield. Strange. Okay. Sure, my Queen's Impling's a 7-7 seven, seven now. I don't know about that one. Uh, I drew Antumbra, so we're chilling. Yeah, I guess this Queen Zipling is just going to become my frontliner now for the rest of the combat. Bow down, plebeians. Uh, yep, that's a 7-16 that's a Queen Zipling that I have made on accident. Hang off that guy with branding, right? All right, great combat. We could, we got the trial. I'm glad I took the trial. I, I think that this is a trial that I would not have taken if I were not thinking. But be, I, like, I stopped and I thought about it and I went, hey, this trial makes it easier for me to rally. And also you get to see the great power of Winged Indulgence early game. Winged Indulgence, a relic that I really only look at for its late game possibilities, which are not great. Early game, this is sick. That was so much. I've been undervaluing Winged Indulgence like crazy. Uh, Welder Helper sounds great here. Yes, I do like Welder Helper. Making up a morsel in case my frontliner is... A dog? We're probably going Umbra Banner. I, w I would like Steelworker, though. I 
think it's safe to take making of a morsel here. And then... I don't know if I... I, I have a Steel Shove lineup with a Hellhorn banner. I think we take a Umbra unit because it's safer. We just take something that gets us through this early game and then we pivot later. Ooh, Crucible Warden. You ever take Shadow Eater here? Nah. Take a second to think about him, though. I don't think it's right. Uh, eh. I'm actually, if I see multi-strike here, I'm down to just commit to Crucible Warden. I think it's okay. I don't think it's great, but I think it's okay. We can rage scale him. He has damage shield. We can just throw him a plus, an, a Steelworker infusion, maybe. Uh, I'll reroll. Sure. Okay, let's do it. There's also, there's a plus 25 here, and I think that Crucible Warden really wants a plus 25, so I will grab that. He's fine. He's not great, but he's fine. And now we have an we have an idea of where we're going with this run. I'm going to stick with it, but I'll take the take the trial anyway. I'm not afraid of uh, plus four on these enemies. It's weird because he's just steel worker kind of now, right? Like he's he's uh, he is a two space unit with multi strike, and that is it. He's not doing anything interesting. He's not good. He's just two size, and he, and he was there when I saw multi strike. And he's gonna become our main line plan. Uh, There's a bit of a clash here because feeding him morsels is very difficult. Wait, because I want to be rallying as well. Uh, I'll feed him a morsel here. I think that I might just not feed him morsels though. Think about that. Like I'll feed him a morsel here, obviously. Like, what if I just don't? I can save a lot here. Ping off that, and then ping off down here. Like, in this early combat, Queen doesn't matter. I actually could have just thrown her away, I think. Although she's nice because she cleans up. Okay, I don't think I... I don't think I feed him. I think I just use armor to keep him alive. Like this. Like I said, in this combat, it doesn't really matter what I do. He's going to beat this boss for me. I guess I should have thrown the 20 damage out there. Okay. Yeah, we'll see what happens. Uh, I think that if I commit now, we pick up Endless, we pick up Rage Scaling, we're chilling. Second Wilder Helper sounds good. I don't actually love it. I know it sounds really good, but I really like Hornbreak here. It's another ping, and it's a really flexible ping. Like, Antumber Assault is not a flexible ping. Antumber Assault stops killing enemies soon. Hornbreak keeps killing enemies for a very long time. I think this is the right choice. I, it, might, it seems crazy. I know it seems crazy. But the Second Wilder Helper is over the top, I feel. And Hornbreak is utility. I feel like our run has what it needs right now. I don't need any of these. If mine collapse, the, I wish that mine collapse targeted yourself. It seems like I don't really know why it doesn't target yourself, but card would be nuts if you could hit yourself with it. Steel worker. Where were you 30 seconds ago? I think I take him and I throw him on Crucible Warden. The Crucible Warden is just holding the upgrades for Steel Worker. How sad. Like, he's great. The infusion's so good here. Ooh. Magic shop here, for sure. 190 to spend. Plus 10, minus 1, remove, consume. Overgorger. Yeah, oh, wait, I could throw Overgorger on Crucible Warden. That probably wins, like, hardcore. It doesn't even come with one size. I think that hardcore wins, actually. I just have to... I, I pivot my entire thought process into... I feed as many morsels as I can into this thing. And then in the end game, we have Rally Queen to help him out. I'm in. Took a bit of a... We, bit of a rocky... Rocky road here. Many... Many twists and turns on this pathway. However... And I wasn't going to infuse, I was going to wait on the Steelworker infusion, but the Overgorger infusion we do right away. Welcome to the world, Overwarden. Over... Crucible Gorger? What do you call this guy? Overwarden? I mean, it's got to be like... It can't be like Warden Gorger, that seems bad. But you can't do Crucible Gorger, because that's just... What does that mean? 
I think Overwarden is the best option there. Wow, it really is times five again. I thought about... Yeah, this is this is my mistake. I thought about minus one and making of a morsel, and then I could times five it. I was like, obviously... Not. Didn't do it. But I didn't think it would be times five again. We've seen so many. No, that's dumb. Don't... No, that's dumb. That's that's silly. That's dumb. Don't do that. I don't like that. I'm gonna make a second making of a morsel because that card got a little bit better. We're gonna take space now so that we have more room to play stuff, I feel. And I think for a while here... I could reroll. Holdover is good. Permafrost is okay. It's, just, it's good to reroll first because you might hit. And Tumbra salt's a little bit better. It stays a little bit longer, you relevant. Yeah, and it's, it's good to reroll first there because you want to hit uh, holdover. But if you hit holdover at max cost after buying a minus one, you don't have enough money for the holdover. Is what I was trying to say. So here's what I'm thinking here. I'm gonna I'm gonna take you through this one. I'm gonna play Shardtail Queen right here, right? Of course, obviously. I'm gonna put one imp down here. No, this is dumb. What I was about to do, it doesn't make any sense. I wasted an imp, it's okay. The imp will die to Daedalus's one spike there, so it's probably worth. But I, I was thinking about playing the Crucible Warden bottom floor so there's more room for morsels, but there's not going to be a lot of turns where that matters. We lose like one here, but it's not that big of a deal. If only morsels still triggered Rally. It was a nightmare, but it also would be very nice here. But really, it was just a nightmare. Got the one spike on Daedalus is so clutch. It's so good for us. This enemy scares me. The sweeper? A little worrying. Yeah, this is just like... Wing Indulgence is just a crazy strong early game relic. I've been... been very, very rude to a very strong young man. I didn't realize. It's gonna, we're gonna ping one and then leave the morsels in the deck. It's fine. Yeah, we just hold on to one. There's no fear in my mind of dying the Daedalus here. I think that it's very, very okay. I'm making plays entirely for... Like, all of my plays that I'm making are in favor of maximizing feeds on Crucible Warden. Except for not playing bottom floor. Bottom floor play I could have got there. Don't care about that. I didn't really realize it was happening, but I don't care. Or even other. Actually, you may as well take the extra energy next turn. Okay. Hey, look at that. One of the one of the morsels I left in ends up paying out. Great news. Okay, so we took we took a little bit of damage. We took four, I think, and that's okay. How'd we do? Eight gorges is not gonna. There's nothing to write home about, but it's nothing to sneeze at either. If you could play the Transcendent Machine Gun again if you wanted to. I don't really... I like... It is... If we pick Transcendent here and we see Endless, the run's over, right? We win. It's just done. We, but we just played it, so I don't really want to play it again. So soon. And I don't think Transcendent's great here, otherwise. Like, he's good, don't get me wrong. But he's not crazy. If we had one Rage Imp, I would be more inclined. Like... The nerf to two energy on Transcendent, it really only hurts the runs where he's just fine. The runs where he's broken, he's just, he's still super broken. But on a run like this where he's alright, I don't really get much out of him. I think I'll just press skip here. One Horns Tome is a good get for Shardtail Queen, but I have to find an answer to keep her alive on Divinity. And, like, it could be, it could be Steelworker self-infuse, but then... What the hell is this guy doing? I don't know. I could take Transcendent just to throw Endless on Welder Helper. I'm gonna press skip. I think it's wrong to take any of those. 
So, like, the run gets really confused if I self-infuse Steelworker here. I'm confused. Right now, I'm confused. I think that... So if I take Morsel Master, Morsel Master doesn't do much. I'm gonna take nothing. I'm gonna I'm gonna follow this one to what I believe is the logical end here. Alright. It'd be so much simpler if I just saw Steelworker first, man. We could we could do it. Like we could pivot to Steelworker wholeheartedly. And I don't necessarily think it's wrong. We could so from this position, I think that. The play that is the most likely to win is to just toss away this weird Crucible Warden thing, take another Steelworker, multi-strike plus 25 on one of them, and that's it. But I'm not doing that here. We're not here to do that. I'm here to do something weird, because we are already we already started on the something weird line. I'm going to finish it. So I'm going to keep Steelworker in for a little bit longer. He's going to sit with Queen... While we let Crucible Warden farm up, and then Crucible Warden's gonna take over. I'd like to find Endless here. I'm not taking multi strike. Hard stuff. Nothing. Okay. Value Stone, very good. I go to 50. Uh, haunts me. Haunting, haunting memories of yesterday's run where I went to 50, said if we live this combat is great, and then died. Uh. I. I think it's worth it. Beyond worth it, I think I might need to do it like this. But let's see, because it's Chase Seraph, we need our rage to be very good. We could also just pivot over to Imperialist here. If I had Endless, I would think about that a little harder. Uh, I wonder if Imperialist 1 Royalty 2 is good enough. Do you think it rallies enough? It is hard to say. I'm gonna pick Royalty 2, and then if it shows me Imperialist again, I'll think about it. I'll go, we'll give it a good hmm. Not gonna buy any removals here. Party Boy Combat, this is exactly who you don't want to see here today. Does mean we get to play bottom floor, at least. But these guys are gonna party pretty hard. Thankfully, I also enjoy partying. We gotta get going on these rallies. Also gives me fuel for the Antumbra. Although, not really. Hmm. Because I missed this collector. I do want the collector. Uh, I think that... Oh, I can just... I put Steelworker behind. Like this, yeah. I was thinking about it only in terms of Queen Zimpling ending up between these two, but I could just play Steelworker behind. And we're fine. This combat might be okay because of Crucible Warden. Might be able to just take care of things. And then we got the queen playing top floor handle and things. Hmm. This, this round will be frightening. And this round will also be frightening. This morsel kills itself. You're 140. Holy moly. That's awful. Okay, so... I think I can pretend- I can- I can get there. Uh, this way we just don't- don't think about it. Don't- don't look at it, and it's okay. I think I can get there if I play a very strange two-train steward magma morsel line. I'm not losing value because the magma morsel kills itself on the cliff defender anyway. The infusion rolls here were pretty tough, but we now play Queen Zimpling, Hornbreak, and that gets us both of those dead. And then I just need this guy, I need Crucible Warden to kill the boss and then we're chilling. Does he kill the boss? Close. Uh, how about a little, how about a little help from our friends, Welder Helper. And then we kill Welder Helper. And two morsels. And this combat was not 
and and I don't I don't want you to type anything about this combat being very close to us taking 40 damage or that it we almost died. That is ridiculous. Scary. What you got for me today? Impena box is pretty good. Makes me wish I took Transcendent, but still. I'll take it. Card's fine. These cards do nothing. Beast, very underwhelming. Crucible extension, I took Space Void Binding. Not for me. Not a huge fan. How are we doing? 36? We're getting exactly 8 eats per combat. Which doesn't sound like a lot. However, turning your Crucible Warden into a... Was that going to be? On Seraph? We got like, what? Four combats before Seraph? He's going to be like an 80 times 2 with Rage Scaling in the deck. He's going to do fine. Not going to be worth writing home about, but he's going to do fine. I'm going to go left. We're going to grab a money magic shop. Take a little look around, you know? Spell chain intrinsic. Intrinsic on anything? Nah, probably not. Spell chain's pretty bad here. I will buy a minus one for ritual. Plus 10 horn. Actually, plus 10 another Antumbra is fine. And then a reroll. I don't want to freeze. Okay, so reroll. Double stack. And I don't think so. I don't really like paying 2 for 20. I'd rather hold out for a holdover on this one. I'm going to drop 150 on two train steward removals here. They have outlived their welcome. And we're okay. Gift of Gratitude, Heaven's Gold, Petty Theft. Petty Theft, another card that if I could just use on myself, I would love. Obviously, the slight plus 50 on yourself is probably a little strong. But, yeah. Hate Petty Theft in the DLC. Hate it a lot. Uh, Heaven's Gold is safe. It's a classic. Gift of Gratitude's a little more spice, but... I'm just gonna take Heaven's Gold. It's not it's not good spice. We don't cheat out energy. The card's just like 120 gold. It's not worth it. 120 gold and you pass a turn. 75 and then I take 25 here. Except I'm also going to duplicate ritual twice, so that's 10. 10 most likely, so that's 20. We're at 70, 85. Skip this, take 15 here. Sounds like the play. Okay. I feel I feel pretty good about this run. I think it has all of the pieces to come together. And we just have to. Respect the next few combats, which I will do here. Oh, yeah, very glad I did not disrespect the Batman. That man kills a lot. Wowie, that is terrifying. If I could just drop Crucible Ward and then give him Rage and have him hit, the, hit two raw hits here, we'd be great. Uh, as it sits, I have two options. I can play bottom floor... And throw the impling down behind. I lose one morsel slot permanently. I think the best thing to do is play a mid floor. And then draw an answer. It's too much. I can't throw the queen's impling at that. I can throw it up here for the summon. Queen's gonna have to clean this guy up. Alright. Show me my cool answer of molting him. Thank you, video game. Do I care about him? I don't think I care about him getting any more armor here. So he's gonna... Okay, hang on. Let's do the math and not be lazy. I hit him down. He's at 175. He gains 10 more. He's at 185 if I put down the Molting Imp. Our boy here does 108. I have to do 80 with Shard Tail Queen. I actually don't like my odds there. I think I'd give up a Morsel slot on the floor again. Sadly. 10 armor, but it matters. Probably. I think I need to keep this Queen Zimpling alive also. It's not really. I could just take 14. I'd really prefer to not take 14. However, game plan might end up being take 14. Yeah, I'm gonna put the Steelworker behind. Extremely terrifying, man. Very, very frightening. Uh, we got him, though. You love to see it. Ladies and gentlemen, 
We got him. Yeah, you don't you don't take the trial there. Taking the trial there would just be 15 damage to the pyre. No recourse. It's good to let the school marksman hit me. Uh, I think this is scary. Yes. I also think that I need to buff up our boy here. I'd like to, I'm gonna fish for a life steal. Probably more so. Does nothing. Okay. This one, uh, my my Crucible Warden, he may not kill the boss because it's stealth boss, and he's not super good in the stealth boss here. He's gonna do his best though, and that's all that we can ask of him. The handsome young man, he's doing everything he can. Give him a little rage. Help him out. Get angry, brother. Alright, so Overcharge Tank here is living. I'm not that afraid of him. I'm gonna throw... Nah, that. I lose the armor. I'm gonna throw this Queen Zimpling in front. I think it will kill. Close. Not quite. Worth 5? It's worth, it's worth 15, but uh, the prediction only shows 5 because the 10 damage happens immediately. That's okay. I traded that for the ability to play another imp over the course of the fight, which is probably a worth trade. It's hard to say. 96, I think. You're not looking too good here, buddy. Uh, I don't love it. However, we got we got our we got our top four to handle the boss here. Is the idea? How many more imps do I have? I have two more imps. One of them is Welder Helper. It's Welder Helper. How afraid am I? If I so. Thirty and eighty-five is one fifteen. Uh, I'm off by I'm off by ten. So I actually I can never catch you. So what you do here? I think I I put rage on the queen and we call that a day. I didn't need to do that. I'm always taking the same amount of damage. I could have put it elsewhere. That's okay. I can give our boy two more eats here, and that's the best option. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. If I understand correctly, this boss should run out of stealth here. And she should then break on top floor. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Combat went exactly as planned. Didn't get as much onto our boy, Crucible Overman, as I would have liked. However, he did his best. Inflame, Rage Serum, Tiresome Climb. I'm realizing now, I think I'd just be better off giving up on Crucible Man and going straight over to Steelworker Town. I mean, Steelworker Town is looking a lot better, but... I don't know. I'm not ready to give up on him. Tiresome Climb's a pretty good card. I'm not ready to give up on him. I do need a backline answer as well. Give me, give me Grovel here. Another expensive morsel card I can't play. My deck's confused, and it's going to become a problem really quickly. Forever Flame helps. Yeah, Forever Flame helps a lot. Max Health on Champion does nothing. Forever Flame helps a lot. That's a lot of energy. Goodbye, Train Steward. I think that in this run, I have, I have made the fatal flaw of playing this Crucible Warden. And we'll see how it ends up hurting me. Dupe the one for pack shards, I think. Actually, dupe this one and then I can get 10 more pack shards at the last temple, right? Same effect, more or less, I guess. If I dupe this one, I can make it free. But let's, let's just dupe the first one. Okay. I'm like, I'm thinking about it now, and this run just feels very confused. I'm being pulled in two different directions on this one. And it is a little worrying. It's so weird that this thing talks, but like the, the Wormkin units don't talk. This guy speaks, but the Wormkin units are unable to. You'd be dead before you made it two steps in my Crucible. Yeah, okay, buddy. Whatever you say. Get him, Steelworker. Would have liked it if she raged up here so I could have thrown these Queen Zimplings into the fire. 
It's okay, though. We drew all of our rage front-loaded it, and we're able to play it, so I'm feeling pretty good. Yeah, this is, just, this is the Forever Flame value coming into play there. In the in the value that we're getting. I am able to play Infinite Bucks, but yeah, I may as well. Get a Molting Imp. Get a Welder Helper down. Get a Molting Imp in there. It's good. The Rally is like a nice little fallback plan and it catches excess right now. I could end up playing this line that we're playing right now all the way through to the end. We need to go back and... Ah, yeah, what am I doing here? Maybe I get a... Yeah, and Tumber Morsel. I need to go back and I need to get a self-infusion, I feel like, because my queen is negative on the boss. My game plan was to just play queen mid-floor after, uh, after I throw away Steelworker. Then we just throw one morsel. Although this guy doesn't live on one morsel, I don't feel like. I think he has to be, but I guess the idea was Endless Welder Helper helps, but I don't know. I really don't know what I'm doing here at this point. I'm just gonna continue to be along for the ride. Monster Train, you tell me what I'm doing here. Welder Helper coming up. This enemy, this Clip Guardian is scary. Uh, he's going to do a lot. He's not quite in death range. However, I think with a few... A few incentives, he should be. Well, let's look. It's 65, 66 we have. This adds 25. Puts me at 80... 91. Okay, so I, I have to play specifically Queen Zimpling. And then Heartbreak. And that's it by two. Again, sad. I'm gonna make. You wanna see? You wanna see a weird one here? You want a, a, a play that I think is probably correct? I'm gonna armor up the morsel because I feel like I want the feed. I need another plus one, and I don't think that armor twenty is gonna matter much. We got a monster here. I've created a monster. Nobody wants to see Marshall no more. They want Shady. Me? I'm chopped liver. Uh, as without me, and uh, I had to think about it for a second actually, because I'm a fake fan. Not a huge Eminem fan, I will admit it. He's fine, but like I was not uh, of an Eminem listening age when he was in his prime, so my opinion of Eminem is a little reduced because of his recent uh, endeavors. I might just stay with this unit as my main plan. Like, I, I have to commit one way or another. I'm gonna... Okay, so right here you commit one way or another, right? I'm gonna commit to Shroud Spike. He's 63 times 2. I got a lot of value in that last combat. I, like Everything looked up a lot with Forever Flame. I'm gonna go Shroud Spike, and we're gonna commit. Give me... Give me... Give me draw. Yeah, yeah. Give me draw. I would have taken energy there, but I have Forever Flame now. Okay, so we're at 65. I can take this money now and then take 25 here? No, 15, 10, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna go right. I look for Holdover very much. Permafrost. Minus one goes to a Grovel here. Another plus 10 goes on Hornbreak. Go. Should make, make it a habit here. Rage plus one, sure. Make it a habit to look in case it's the shop relic. Permafrost I never take. Reroll, double stack, no holdover. It is not the end of the world. Guess I, I could have froze the spike. I want to hold my money, but I could have froze the spike. I should have at least mentioned it and talked about it a little bit. I would not have done it, but... <laughs> You also have done... So, uh, there's a lot of interesting things you can do on this run. I think you could do Value Stone Double Stack Branding, right? And then... Like, you, you could just play this run and have the Crucible Warden be a throwaway and not reroll for Multi-Strike like I did, right? Because you hit perfectly well. You get the Steelworker, you get the Steelworker Self-Infuse, you get the Multi-Strike, the run goes crazy. But, we're somewhere else right now. Yeah, let's do a bit of a think about Imperialist. How is it? It's worse because I did not find Endless. I did not find Endless of my own accord. I did not look for Endless. I went to every magic shop looking for a holdover. Uh, Endless looking for it a little more might have been the right idea. However, Welder Helper doesn't keep Queen alive if I'm playing top floor. It's a little weird. Uh, I'm going to go all the way on Rally. 
have enough pings and I don't have endless imps. Okay, let's go. Give me spell shield here, please. Oh, plus eight. You have plus hate to see it. This combat will body me. I should not take plus eight. Plus eight purifier combat 290 turn one. These are not things that I like. I'm gonna continue to play middle floor because I'm afraid. Do not feel like just dropping in bottom floor is the way to go. Do want to get these rallies out. Our, our Crucible Warden here, he doesn't do too bad. He gets 180 down. Let me throw a Ritual of Battle at it. What's in the box? Fire Chopper Rage? Hmm. Interesting. Uh, a whole Pyre Chomper. Live the dream. I'm gonna play the Fudgling Imp, though. Uh, yeah, yeah, this Fudgling Imp's really good. I have to take curse damage to get everything to play out just like I would like, but I think it's fine. No, I don't. I can just play Pyre Chopper. I don't need to hold it. I, I want to hold it for the spike, but we all know that's not going to happen. We play the Fudgling Imp here. The Morsels rise up. Rise up, Morsels. Missed the Collector. It's a little sad, but... Rage Scale and looking pretty good. Not looking too shabby anyway. This is plus four attack permanently, but at what cost? It's a big cost. It's a very big cost. It may not seem like a big cost, but we're taking five damage and we're letting a curse enemy live that I could kill here. I killed the bottom one, because the top one would die. It won't die. I needed to, uh, yeah. I need to think about this a little more. If I do 178 times 2 makes no difference. I want to play... I'm gonna play Ritual here. I'm going to play it and then we hope we have enough. I didn't, I didn't do the math. We're past. It's it too late for me to do math. Math. Whack. 23. I am going to kill my own Imp here instead of an enemy with Antumbra. Hmm. I can take self-mutilation damage and play Branding right here. And then I get to ping off this... Let's, let's see, this is plus 35 now, so, uh, 158 should be my number. I think it's okay, I think that I can, I think that I can just do this. I'm only taking 10, it's not the end of the world. I don't necessarily need to do it for the rally, though. Like, this guy is killing the boss, there's no doubt about that. Yeah, you're right, I should just scale him more. I agree. Because I'm going to take the same amount of damage thanks to Heaven's Gold, I may as well just get the scaling. Now this Gilded Wing, the infused guy walking at me menacingly here, he's a problem. And the next one as well. These are issues. We will deal with them. I keep fighting back against the curses, it feels like it's right. As well, mm, and I have a I have a finite amount of rallies, so I may as well I may as well hold out for more rally. It might make a difference on this turn. All right, you stop talking. I can't see his health. Is it 120? 140. Either way. Oh, it was. I thought I read 120 there. Dude, shut up! I need to see. Stop talking to me. I don't want to hear you speak. I don't care about you. You are not. You are non-existent to me. You're a big bird who's gonna die soon. Queens of playing it should take care of business here. I really amped up my overgorger morsel production. A surprising amount. We were we were not doing great not too long ago, and now look at him. He's the whole game. I ended up missing the Shroud Spike for not playing it earlier, which is crazy. The curse has held me back quite a bit there. It's okay, because I, I saved Pyre Health, but I lost four, and it's, it's definitely worth it, though. It's a good trade. I don't want any of these. They're expensive in my deck. I don't actually have a lot of energy. I'm just cheating a lot of energy through Forever Flame. Expensive spells don't make any sense here. A Crucible Extension. I'm not going to, but I could. 
pick Prism Retrieval and then use Prism Retrieval to... I'm not gonna insult you by finishing that sentence. So there's a case to be made for going left here and looking for Endless and pivoting back, but I'm not doing it. I'm in. I'm all in. Spell chain intrinsic. Spell chain intrinsic. Double stack. Minus one. Remove consume. Plus five, plus five. 25%. We're at 82 times two. Hey, my number estimate was about correct. Wow. Let's go first things first here. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna remove. It's weird what I remove. I don't think. I think I remove one shade splitter for sure. Here we have one shade splitter, one queen zimpling here. I'm gonna do it. I'm not playing all the queen zimplings right now. Uh, so I've looked at all my options. We're gonna let me let me lay out. There's a few ideas I have for what we do here. I'm gonna lay them out to you now. So option A: duplicate ritual battle. Classic, safe, no scare. Option B is we. Duplicate... Duplicate Shroud Spike is what I was thinking. I throw some upgrades on it, I make a second one. I'm gonna go for that, because I think it actually feels a little bit better. It's also more exciting. It's a little more exciting, because we can give it minus one spell chain, and then make two of it, and then if we ever pull Energy Morsel plus regular Shroud Spike, we can do some fun stuff. So... You give it a minus one for sure. Double stack. Honestly, double stack gravel is not the worst idea. I'm not going to do it, but it's not the worst. No oh, plus 20 consumes here. Let me go ahead and reroll. Remove consume. Minus one. Last minus one of the run. We're gonna go to... Not Shroud Spike. I'm gonna throw a spell chain at that. We're gonna go to Grovel. And we will do... Spell chain. Shroud Spike. Duplicate Shroud Spike. Yeah, I've thought about it a little more. If I had spent a little more time thinking about it, I would have removed branding right. Just keeping it for the five damage piercing, but that's not great. It's real for something cool. Fossilized fangs is really cool. Yep, that's great. Spent all my money. We only have plus five out of heaven's gold. I found basically one relic that I would pick there. Fossilized fangs is the one. Uh, okay, I. I don't really know where we're going with this one. I have no backline answer on the divinity. That's our big problem. The big question mark of this run is I don't kill backline. That's your triple question mark. And also, like, because I, I have to do... We have to do some weird stuff on the divinity, I think. But that's a problem for me to face when we get there. I think this run burns out approaching the divinity. Pretty heavily. I don't know, man. Maybe it'll be. Maybe it'll. Maybe something crazy happens here. I didn't stop to think or answer my problems. I just kind of went with what felt cool, and that was Shroud Spike to me. Double Welder Helper. Now he's not great here. I'm gonna play. I think it'll little stopped here. Hold the morsels. I play. If I play the Welder Helpers, I have to. I, I will play the Welder Helpers. Actually, I think it's okay. And then there's a branding right one of them. Let me hold the rest of this. I think that's the best turn there. Get a little rally preparation going. Ooh. It's a struggle play if we play Queen Zimpling and Ritual it. It's an absolute struggle play. I think it's the way. And I don't get anything here because of the Pyre Wings, so... Suppose we can struggle on. Okay. Hey, take 38 on Steelworker. Kind of scary. I was gonna say I should Queen Zimpling, but I've changed my mind. No, I'm gonna do it. I changed my mind again. Where are my Shroud Spikes? Needed a Vapor Funnel on this run, I feel. 
<laughs> 48 damage is quite a bit. And Antumbra Assault only does 13. That's concerning. I think I... Decision time. I, so for ob obvious, obvious first assessment here. I'm not able to allow this 48 damage to walk up on me. So I have to Antumbra Assault this. That's assessment A. Assessment B is I need to throw Rage at Crucible Warden. And I think I need to throw a Morsel Jeweler here to keep our Steelworker alive another round. This is just no backline answers, and we're getting crushed for it. Actually, it gets more if I Shroud Spike. I'll do it. We don't lose much because of the... We have Spell Chain on it. Yeah, if I had a holdover vent or something like that, we would be in a great spot. As it sits, we're in a not-so-good spot here. But, we'll find it. Imperialist 1. I should have gone Imperialist 1. It would have been better because it would have killed Backline. I didn't even think about it for the purposes of killing Backline. Would have been a lot better for killing Backline. I think I'm going to die here. To Not this wave, but one of those. Because like my top floor just fell apart. And I'm having a full 290 walk up there. Actually, like, the big the thing that's stopping me here, I can't deal with the enemy Seraph is placing. There's too many of them. I can't stop them. I'm done for. I think that in hindsight... So first, first of all, I think that we got pretty unlucky because the Gilded Wings were the second. The infused enemy was always second. That's really unfortunate because I'm wasting a bunch of damage on Crucible Warden here. Uh, in hindsight, Imperialist would have been better so I could use it to kill Backline, and I could full pivot. Or, option B is the one that I said. I, I did the thing that was more interesting to me and more fun, and it burned out a little bit. I, I got burned for it, and that's okay. I don't mind. It was a little more fun to play the Overman. Uh, however, so, uh, hey, if you want to win this run you don't commit hard to crucible warden it was bad and the reason that it was bad is because to keep crucible warden alive you have to play morsels but the rally queen you have to play imps and these two things clash you don't have enough space i think if you do one in one it's pretty doomed you can't even do one in one unless you take double space they clash they don't work together uh so realize that and just cut them out completely that's option a just don't don't do them. You don't give them the multi strike. You don't get, you don't reroll that shop. You just sit on it. That's an important lesson to take away from this. Uh, option B is obviously don't don't play shroud spike. I guess, but I don't know. It was more exciting. I think at that point the run was basically doomed because we didn't find trample. Uh, but once I realized this was bad, I could have pivoted off. But I didn't want to. I wanted to play it. It was fun. I, maybe I should have considered duplicating the overgorger crucible warden. Oh, that might have been good. I could have duplicated him and put him top floor. Like this is this is a run that lost, not because I made misplays in the combat. This is all a tactical issue. But I don't know. It was fun. Look at that guy. It was fun. I'd do it again. Another week, another queen lost. Maybe next week, queen. I'm gonna go to bed. It's 5:30. Uh, thanks for watching. If you did enjoy. Do not forget to leave me a like, subscribe if you want to see more. I'll see you in the next one. Have a good one.